Hey fellow foodies, it's Chef Kevin. I'm going to be making quiche Lorraine, actually mini quiche Lorraine. And this is a very old recipe, dates back to the 13th century. Most people associate quiche Lorraine as being a French dish, but actually it originated in England. Okay, you can use a variety of vegetables, meats, even fish. Now they all have one thing in common though, and that's the use of milk and or cream in cheese. So I'm going to be making mini quiche Lorraine with corned beef hash. Here are the ingredients. Eggs, cheese, half and half, so half milk, half cream, Hormel, corned beef hash, and I'm going to saute an onion. And this is my mini quiche, sorry, my mini cupcake tray from Sherlatab. This one I'm going to be using. So, watch how I do it. Okay, oh by the way, this is a crustless Okay, and by the way, this is a crustless mini quiche Lorraine. There's no crust, there's no pastry used. Okay, I have a little less than a half a cup of finely diced onion. The onion, of course, is optional. I like onions, so I'm going to use onions. This is a seven and a half ounce can of corned beef hash. Now you have to use, if you're going to use the onions, they have to be finely diced because this is a mini dish. There's actually quite a lot of corned beef in here. I don't think I'm going to be needing all of this. Perhaps I'll have corned beef hash with egg for breakfast. Okay, so I'm going to just mix these up. I'm going to add a little salt. little pepper, salt and pepper, the two most common spices in the world. Okay, I'm going to mix this up and then I'm going to Place it in the muffin tray. I'm not going to fill it up completely. Just going to put a little in there. Again, it is a mini dish, so can't get too carried away. And then I'm going to going to be making the custard. The custard is the the liquid. This is going to be the half and half, the eggs and the cheese. That's going to be the custard. So let me just finish this off. Don't go nowhere. Okay, I used a little spray oil to spray the pan. This way they come out easier. So I ended up using only about half of what I made. Uh, this is my leftover. So it looks like I'm going to have corned beef hash and eggs for breakfast this morning. I'm not going to let that go to waste. Um, that was the smallest can I could get. That's seven and a half ounces. Okay, I'm now going to go ahead and make the custard. The making of the custard. One egg. And I'm going to use just the yolk of the second egg. This way it'll be a little firmer in consistency. Ok, 
Okay. Uh, half and half. Going to be using a third of a cup. And I have some mozzarella. This is what I have open, so I'm going to use this. I'm going to go ahead and put in probably about a quarter cup anyway. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and beat that up and then put it on top of the corned beef hash. Okay, we're ready to go here. Going to spoon the egg mixture right on top of the corned beef hash. Don't want to fill it up quite all the way because it is it will expand a bit. Not like a muffin, but it'll still expand. This would be a nice little dish to serve as a party. People will be talking about it, I'm sure. Perfect. Give it a little tap to get the air out of there. That'll let the egg mixture settle in. I'm going to go ahead and put a little bit more mozzarella on the top. The mozzarella was kind of large, so I chopped it up. Just enough. Perfecto. Okay, the next step is to bake them. I'm going to be putting this in my convection oven, 350 degrees for 20 minutes. Okay, folks, this is the easy part. I'm not going to use a sheet tray because I want the air to circulate all around the tray. 350, 20 minutes and then I'll check it from there. Okay folks, uh, it's been only 15 minutes but I, I decided to take them out. As you can see the the tops are very well cooked so I don't want to burn them. The Breville Smart oven does cook food quicker than most ovens. So, I'm going to let these cool down before I attempt to pop them out. And then I'll have a sample and we'll see how this goes. Um, traditionally, quiche is not served hot. It may be served slightly warm or room temperature so these have a while to cool down. They do look good though don't they? Alright folks let's have a look see here. Okay. It is nicely cooked on the top sides and bottom. 
Cut one of these bad boys open here. It's got a nice crunch to it. I don't know how well you can see that, but it is thoroughly cooked. Very nice. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and plate these. Okay folks, your mini corned beef hash quiche Lorraine are now plated. I think they came out very nice. Uh, honestly, I think I used just a tad too much salt. So next time I won't be using so much salt. And otherwise, uh, other than that, they came out very nice. I garnished it with a little Mexican cream cheese. And I also put a little paprika on top of that. So now you have the, the heat and the sweet. So I hope I've uh, perhaps encouraged somebody to make this down the road. And thanks for watching.